This is a video about basic electric circuits. What are the five basic circuits, and how does voltage and current behave in them? We'll start with the three elements needed to form an electric circuit, then go on to the basic circuit types, including the closed circuit, the open circuit, the short circuit, the series circuit, and the parallel circuit. So what is an electric circuit? There are three elemental requirements to form one. You need a voltage source, which is the energy source for the circuit, a conductive path for the resulting current to flow, such as a wire or a copper circuit board trace, and a load where the power that is being delivered to the circuit is released, such as a resistor. The voltage or electromotive force will push the current from the positive end of the source for a conventional current flow, that is, through the conductive path, through the load, and then make its way back to the negative side of the voltage source. You might say that the current travels in a circle, hence the term circuit. As mentioned, there are five basic circuit configurations that we'll cover in this video. First, there is a closed circuit, which is a basic circuit just described, but a little more about that. It simply consists of a voltage source, a conductive path, and a single load. The voltage across a single load is equal to the voltage source. The current through the circuit depends on the magnitude of the voltage and the resistance value of the load. This current can be determined by Ohm's law, which is I, or current, is equal to E, or voltage, divided by R, or resistance. For more information about Ohm's Law, there is a link to a dedicated video in the description of this video. The short circuit is one that has a very low resistance path, such as a wire, that essentially bypasses the load. For all practical purposes, the short circuit path will have all of the circuit current flowing through it, and none will be left for the load. In such a case, the current can be very high it is essentially being limited by the voltage source's capacity to supply that current. The open circuit is just the closed circuit where the current flow has been interrupted by opening the switch. In this circuit, no current flows and no voltage appears across the load. The voltage source actually appears across the open switch because the load resistor serves as a conductive path through which that voltage can appear. In a series circuit, there are two or more loads that are connected end to end. The total resistance of the circuit is the sum of the resistances of each load. Thus, in this circuit, the total resistance would be R1 plus R2. The current through the circuit is equal to the voltage source divided by the total resistance or voltage divided by R equivalent. The current is the same through every point in the circuit. So the current here is the same as the current here and the current here. The voltage source is distributed among the loads in a way that is dependent on the resistance value. The highest resistance will have the highest voltage across it. This is very important to remember. Just like with the open circuit discussed previously, the open switch, which had infinite resistance, had all the voltage appearing across it. The voltage across each resistor in a series circuit can be found by using the voltage divider equation. To find the voltage across R1, you would say that VR1 is equal to V source times R1 divided by R1 plus R2. For a series circuit, the sum of the voltages across each load is equal to the voltage source. For more details about series circuits, along with an example problem, please see our video on series circuits in this playlist. There is also a link to it in the description of this video. A parallel circuit works quite differently than a series circuit. It consists of two or more loads in parallel that are essentially circuit branches. The voltage across each load is equal to the voltage source. The total circuit current divides among the loads and rejoins back here to return to the source. This current divides in a way that depends on the resistance value of the loads. 
And because you know that the voltage across each load is equal to the voltage source, the current for each load can be found by Ohm's law. The equivalent resistance of the circuit is always less than the lowest value resistor and can be found by using the product over the sum equation such as this or using the reciprocal formula here if there are more than two loads in parallel. For more details about parallel circuits along with an example problem Please see our video on parallel circuits in this playlist. There is also a link to it in the description of this video. So that's it for this video. I hope it has been interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.